Well, let's talk about battery products. All right, real quick. Now you can get a battery power radio just like this one right here. All right, I've had that one for years. Runs on C batteries. It takes six C batteries. Some run on D batteries, some run on C batteries. You can get this little dinky thing on top for less than 25 bucks on Amazon. It's a rechargeable radio that you can recharge with, you know, a battery bank, a solar charger, anything like that. You can charge that thing right back up and you never have to worry about changing your batteries. You just have to have a way to charge it. All right. Now, speaking of batteries, you want to make sure that you, you can buy these cases right here. I've uh, done videos and stuff on a lot of this said product, folks. But you can buy these cases on Amazon. They're really cheap. All right. And you want to make sure that you have batteries that you need. Don't buy batteries if you're not going to use them. As you can see, I have no 9 volts. I don't own anything that is 9 volt. All right. The 9 volt battery is, if you want to think about it, is almost going along the lines of the cassette tape when we went to CDs. All right. There just ain't that many things that take 9 volt batteries anymore. The other batteries have kind of replaced those and you can get rechargeable batteries and everything else as long as you have a way to charge them. It's all in what you can do and what you can afford. I would suggest using buying good batteries, at least energizers or Duracells, whichever one you can afford. But if you can't afford that, go to the dollar store. You can always get you some batteries that'll get you through that'll probably last you for at least that 24 to 36 hours until hopefully by that time, maybe the power is starting to come back on or you just have buy some extra batteries because you can buy them for like a, a dollar a pack. You know, <clears throat> yes, they're not going to last as long as Duracells or Energizers, but on a tight budget, they will do and get you through the storm. There's a lot of things that you can buy at the dollar store that will get you through the storm. Let's move on down the line. Flashlights. Now, all different types of flashlights. OK, you always want to make sure that you have one good, sturdy flashlight. All right, one that will take a beating, maybe it could be self-defense and everything else you need, a one good, spend the money, one good solid flashlight to make sure that, you know, you always have light regardless. You'll call it old faithful. All right, now for me, that's my Meg light. I've had that Meg light for almost 30 years now. I've put that thing to hell and back and it works just fine. Now I have replaced the, the bulb and that kind of stuff, but that's the only thing I've had to do to it. It's waterproof. I use it to bang in nails. I mean, I mean, you can use it for self-defense, whatever. You can get them. That's a two cell. You can get them in three, four, whatever. I mean, you can get the ones that are like a, a four, six cell battery. And it's like a huge bat baton you can reach out and touch someone with, if you get my point, without going into details. Now, I'm a big advocate for headlamps because... In an emergency type situation, more than likely, you will need these. These are your lifeline. You can have all these products, but you need these to accomplish anything that we're talking about here. So having your headlamp connected to your head on your hat, however you want to do it. All right. Some of them do have you can buy different straps and you can strap it right around and put it right on your chest right here. As long as it's somewhere, I like it on the head. This way where, where I look, I can see. I can do what I need to do with these. Speed.